Hey guys, Brandon from Rogue Fabrication here. This is our first ever build on the channel. This is a 2002 BMW build. And uh, as you can see, we're already into it part way. Let's talk about what got us here. So we bought this thing last year, sat all winter under a couple tarps, just being neglected a little bit more than it already had been its whole life. Uh, we made plans, we picked up a few more cars uh, that came here as whole cars left here in pieces. Uh, we gathered a few little pieces off of them to put on this car. And we're midway through the teardown of this car. We found a few gremlins, a lot of Bondo, a lot of rust, a lot of lead, bigger dents in the back, missing parts in the front. Part of tearing this thing down though was saving all of its classic pieces and reselling them because this is a lemons build and we want to keep our budget low so that we actually qualify well for it. So we took the time to make the engine run, got it all running, and let's take a look how we did it. All right, guys, we got the 2002 Beamer in the shop, finally. Next stage is just ripping off all these outer components. We're gonna rip out all the glass so that we don't damage it during the uh, sheet metal fab repair. You can see we got some rust down in here. We gotta get all fixed up. You know, go inside. Got some Flintstone floorboard in it. But we're gonna pull all this stuff out, get everything ready to go take the stock motor, make it run so we can sell it easier. Then we're gonna put this bad boy in it. All right, Brandon, let's go down on the engine. Uh, we are just putting it back together. I'm gonna throw some fuel and some spark in her and see if we can get her to breathe some fire. All right, so we're in here working on this little motor. Got the carburetor pulled apart. Well, it was already pulled apart. Uh, Retapping the holes, getting some hardware to put the top of it on with the floats. Gonna have to put some power in here for the battery. We hook up some grounds. Um, gonna tighten down the mechanical fuel pump. Already got the cap rotor and all the plugs in. And uh, we'll uh, hook up a fresh fuel source and we'll turn her over. It's That's probably got the main fuse pulled. Oh, what was that? What's what? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. oh, there's some golden rust in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. What is that big ground it? Fuel pump right yeah. there. Not much. So as we were cranking this engine, we noticed that there was no cylinders firing. It didn't have any spark. It was, it did seem like it was getting fuel. So that led us to suspect the distributor was the problem. We figured out that when we manually grounded it, it actually would make a spark, but there were still problems. The problem was that the ground going to the distributor, once we got it fixed, was always on. The points are supposed to interrupt the ground, making the coil energize and de-energize, you know, discharging through the spark plugs, making a spark. Every time the distributor actually goes past one of the connections for one of the cylinder spark plugs thus giving it all those sparks every single time the cylinder gets to the top dead center. Uh, so we had to correct the ground path to go through the points on it so that it would do that appropriately. And as soon as we did, it fired right up. I'm trying to see if it actually gets spark at all. And if it's worth putting uh, a new distributor in it or not. If not, we might resort to just doing some compression numbers and showing that it turns over to sell the motor for a little bit more than we could a dead motor. So that's where we're at. <laughs> All right, you're good. All right, good. We just gotta hold the choke on. Okay. okay. Once it gets a little heat in it, that should be okay. Oh yeah. 
All right. Let's get this thing out of there. Board, it slow down. All right, so we got the engine out, took all that out, cut the steering rack, had to weld it back together to move it. We've taken a lot of measurements. We're getting ready to, you know, do some mock-up, but we're trying to get all the body work done, the rest of the stripping down done. We're gonna get some dry ice, pop out all the sound deadening, take off the rest of the paint. So I keep mentioning lemons. What is lemons? It is a race all over the country where the budget is only $500. So you have to get a car and make it track ready for $500. Safety equipment's not included. And if you buy a car or you rip parts off and sell them, they kind of reverse your budget. So that's one of our strategies in building this car is we bought this car for a decent amount of money. We're able to sell all the old classic parts off of it for more money than what we paid for it. Which basically gave us a negative budget. We took that budget, bought a few parts cars, ripped them apart, sold them, scrapped them, took the parts we needed, basically got them for free or for positive budget money. We're gonna to try to build this thing so that we are actually competitive in limits, but we want this thing to be an actual full-fledged race car. Okay, so that does it for this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode where we do a little bit more body work and fix that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Might just ruin. Or it might just pop right off. <laughs> Did you break good? something already? Did you break something? Where did you break it? It's gonna, gonna be okay. Just, just leave it. Nobody, jam, jam nobody's gonna know. Nobody's okay. gonna know. Okay. Jam the fuse box. The car. Are you somebody gonna really say? Did nobody's you just break gonna this? know. Nobody's gonna be. Gonna, no, it's gonna be okay. Everybody's gonna know. It's brand new. This is actually a 2002, not a 2002. All right. Ah. <sighs> uh. Try not to move so you can cut this nice. Okay. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to make it easier for you. Okay, buddy? Okay? Try to make you not have to move your wrist as much. I know that's a lot of strain on your wrist. Red light! Green light! But once we got that done... <laughs> Crap! We forgot to like, subscribe, and comment. You don't. What the f***? <laughs> How am I supposed to know? Please, like, subscribe, comment, follow all of other social media before I lose my mind. You've already lost your mind, Brandon. You're sitting on a tire. Oh, I'm damaging the nice tire. <laughs> <laughs> Don't show Joe that. Joe! Joe! Uh, <laughs> uh, I forgot to say like and subscribe! Oh, yes. <laughs> Just snag me some. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, we branded. <laughs> I'm just going to take off, okay? Right. I'm going to I'm just going to go I'm going to go home. Drown my sorrows this weekend. Hey, look at it. That still works. Hey, it does. That's the one thing that does work. I'm surprised those welds haven't broke. Do you think you're the one that welded it? <laughs> Actually, I was. Yeah, that, that would be a lot. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>